Yannick, that was absolutely bananas to watch. Would you would you characterize this as, as the best match of your career and, and perhaps the best atmosphere? I think with all the circumstances, um, playing in Italy, um, top eight players of the season, uh, beating the number one who won 24 Grand Slams, it's for sure on the, on the top, no? Um, I, I, I think we both served really, really well. So in the beginning, there were not so many exchanges. Um, so it was also for me, but also for me, very tough to get into the rhythm of, of the match. And, you know, I, I, I managed somehow to, to handle the situation, especially in the third set. It was mentally tough when you lose in the tiebreak of the second, but I kept quite calm and obviously really, really happy about the outcome. In the semis at Wimbledon, you, got, you lost in straight sets, but you said, you know, I feel closer than I did last year when I lost in five sets to him. Since then to now, what have you done to make the gap nothing? No, it's, uh, I always say it's part of the process. And um, I, you know, we practice really, really hard for certain moments in, 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 in the match. I feel more, a little bit more complete player. In my mind, I, as I always say, I still know that I can improve. You know, for example, I missed two quite easy volleys. And, you know, this is all in my mind now. What tomorrow is a practice day. I can still practice on this kind of things. But in the other way, it, it, it was a really good match. Um, I was serving really, really good in the important moments, except maybe the tiebreak of the second. But, you know, it's, uh, there's also tension in the, in the match. So I'm happy how I handled it. Yeah, thank you, man. You gave, you gave us all a gift out there. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you.